Hi guys, this is a serious video. Now, um, this is going to be about schools, and um, I'm awake or you did one on the core standard yesterday, and that's, you know, pretty much sending your children into being really good slaves. But I have to tell you, um, I hate to call myself an ex-teacher because I really didn't get to teach at all. Um, so my son was, when I quit being a teacher, he was in fifth grade, and, and I am, he's almost 21 years old now, so uh, that's how long ago it was that I'm going to talk about something that happened. And this was, uh, this was terrible. Um, I, I thought that's what I wanted to be. It would be rewarding, and um, I didn't like what they did. If kids acted out, they automatically wanted to label them and put them on meds. I saw many children go on medications that they had no business being on, and it changed and altered their personalities, and it was horrible. But that wasn't the horriblest thing about it. In 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 the school that I taught in, um, hold on, <coughs> sorry about that. They um, started sex education, and uh, they actually taught the kids how to put a condom on the banana. Um, and afterwards, as a reward, they got to eat the banana. That was kind of my last line, I guess you'd say. Um, I had a child in that school. That was disgusting. It, not to mention the D.A.R.E. program. They asked the children to spy on their parents. One more time, I got a cough. <coughs> Sorry. I'm trying to shake this thing that we got. Um, the D.A.R.E. program comes in and lays out the drugs in front of your child, an elementary school child. Poof. And uh, tells them how to use it, what it is, and asks, does your mommy or daddy drink or do any of these things? And it's okay if you tell us. We won't tell on you for telling us because we're the good guys. That was back then. I do keep up with the indoctrination system, though. And right now, kindergartners are getting their first dose of sex education. And this article is, of, is as of 2012 that I'm going to read from. So... I'm going to read a little bit of it. I'm being blinded by this light, too, so uh, bear with me. By the time they leave elementary school, children should be able to define sexual orientation. Got that? And by the eighth grade, be able to define emergency contraception and its use. By eighth grade, they should be able to know how to go abort a baby. Um, so... That, that's just part of it. But let me get down here to what they're doing to really elementary schools. Or maybe who's involved in this. Um, there's a 45-page report determines age-appropriate guidelines for comprehensive sexual education in the areas of autonomy, identity, pregnancy, sexually transmitted diseases, and others. Specifically, the National Sexuality Education Standards were developed to address the inconsistent implementation of sexuality education nationwide and the limited time allotted to teaching the topics. The authors argue too little time is devoted to instruction in HIV, pregnancy, STDs, and a medium total of 3.1 hours in elementary school according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. In its rationale for sex education in public school, the report says there's a pressing need to address harassment, bullying, relationship violence in our schools. Um, it goes on to tell a bunch of other things, but they start them in kindergarten now. Um, let me see where I can find that. I see starting in third grade, upon the completion of fifth grade, when most children are 10 years old, students should be able to define sexual orientations as romantic attraction of individual to someone of the same gender or different gender. Um, I wanted to find the one about kindergarten because they are doing it in kindergarten. Um, this is... Let me go up here. It might be up here. Um, that it could be because... Um, this standard is drawn from kindergarten to 12th grade. I know that. Um, oh, standards to be introduced in kin kindergarten and be met by the second grade include I. 
identifying different kinds of family structures and demonstrate ways to show respect for different types of family. Recommendations for students by the time they reach age seven includes that they will use proper names for body parts, including male and female autonomy. Provide examples of how friends, family, media, society, and culture influence ways in which boys and girls think they should act. Think they should act. They're trying to tell your kid how they should act about sex in kindergarten. Are you kidding me? That's you, the parent's responsibility. I don't care what the gender, sex, race you are. It is not the school's responsibility to teach anything about sex. That is you, the parent's choice. And you're not going to get away from it if you're in public schools. It is a terrible, terrible thing. As I said, I could not be a teacher. I was unqualified to be a teacher. I could not participate in what they were doing to children. I am an unqualified, ex-unindoctrinated teacher, and I could not handle it. I could not follow the guidelines. I was a failure at my job. And I'm glad. And I hope that any of you who have your children in a public school who can pull them out as soon as possible with the school core standard that I am awake or you put up and the sex education policies that go with the slavery training, I would not allow any, even my worst enemy's child, to be in a public school at this time. Please find some place to put your child or homeschool them yourself. Or even look at treaty schools. Just take a look at, I'll leave a link, what Native Americans are doing now. Their academics are higher than any education system here in America right now, and they're teaching family values, not sex. They're actually teaching culture values, which you should be doing too, and how to respect one another and other people, but not sexual values. That will come in time when they're ready to learn that. What you should not be letting them learn is by eighth grade how to go and handle an emergency, you know, like an abortion. Because, listen, they preach to you that if your child was, if you get pregnant by accident, that's an unwanted child. Damn, I was an accident. My kids were accidents. I bet some of you were accidents. A lot of people do plan to have children. My kids were just all accidents. I think they know that. I think their children were accidents too, my grandchildren. And they love them and I love them. And I've loved every one of my children. So I'm just throwing this out there because I don't think you should have the school teaching your children the family values that you instill in your home because that's going to put them on some kind of Think about what that's doing to their mind because this school is really, that's where their friends are. It's a social, social setting, but that social setting is now being structured by the government and what they want. So your child is going to be taught what the government wants your child to learn, not your values, government values. If you look at our government right now, you don't want your child anywhere near anything that has to do with government values. And I love you all. And peace, love, and truth to all of you. And I'm out of here.